Hello, everyone. I'd like you to do me a favor. Stand if you've ever been bullied. Raise your right hand if you've ever known a bully. Raise your left hand if you know anyone who's ever been bullied. So, how does one become a bully? Let's retrace the steps a prospective bully takes when they get up in the morning. One, get up. Two, check the phone. Three, eat breakfast. Four, take the dog out if they have one. Five, go to school. Six, be a bully. Not, obviously. I'm Mark Walters, the director of Bullies Are People Too. And I am a bully. That is to say, I was once a bully. And you might be asking yourself, how could he be a bully? Bullies are big and tall and powerful looking guys, right? Not. A bully can be a big guy, a not so big guy, a lady. Anybody can be a bully. If they put their mind to it, I look forward to your clicking on my website and the opportunity to share with you some of the tools we have developed through the years to help school leaders empower their staff and their students to empower the bully to become the bully no more. I have other stories about bullying and me. One is called The Bully and the Leaf. And it's about how my brother and I were, were both bullied as I escorted him to school each and every day. Another is, well, how a bully and I both became engulfed in the smoke, debris, death, and despair of that horrible day of Tuesday, September 11th, 2001. Take it from me. I've been there. Bullies have a right to fall down. And a right to get up. Bullies have a right to get hurt, but not hurt others. Bullies have a right to change. A right to tell their story. A right to be glad. Not always mad or sad. A right to win. A right to lose. A right to dream. A right to tomorrow. And most of all, ladies and gentlemen, most of all, Bullies have a right to look at themselves in a mirror and say, I'm the most beautiful person in this universe. I am somebody.